Cloth farms are back. We're mainly going to be talking about the frostbitten wilder cloth farm. Now this is best done in two groups of four people, so a two by four, and you can make upwards of 50k gold from doing this. You also get a bunch of junk items that you can just straight up vendor for a little bit of extra gold, but the main gold is going to come from the cloths. So this is where the farm is located in the Asia span. So at this location right down here in the left bottom hand corner. And to do this efficiently, you do want to have a two by four. So two groups full of four people each, which is a total of eight people. You're also going to have to have tailoring and you want to max out cloth collection. You actually need cloth collection to be able to even get the frost bitten wilder cloth to drop in the first place. On top of that, by having it max, maxed out the whole way, it will increase the amount of cloth you actually get from the farm. So this is definitely recommended and required to make this farm worthwhile and actually to be a really good gold farm. Um, it doesn't take long whatsoever to get knowledge points to max this out. You will need 50 in cloth collection to max it out. Um, there's heaps of catch up methods for knowledge points. So you should be able to get that very, very easily. So this is where the farm is located and this is what it looks like so like i mentioned before the best way to do this is in a two by four so two groups of four people this way or eight people um, from both the groups are sharing the same loot uh, this will just make it a lot easier and you also want to make sure that you have some druids and some hunters now hunters work really really good for this farm um, they use barrage um, I believe that's what it's called. It's their AOE ability and they can just spin around in a circle and they can pull absolutely all the mobs around this location. And then what they'll want to do is pull it back, back to the monk statue. So another thing you're going to want to have in either of the groups is at least one monk. Now the monk is very important because it's going to have a statue where we have the skull mark and it's going to pull aggro and pull all of the mobs to that one location. This will make killing the mobs and looting the mobs a lot easier so i highly recommend having at least one monk and preferably all hunters and all druids they're the two best pullers and uh, they will do the best at this farm like i said before you are going to want to make sure that you have tailoring this will be so it can allow you to get the frostbitten wilder cloth if you don't have it this farm isn't good whatsoever the main reason why this is good once again is because the price of the frost bitten wilder cloth has went up like crazy amounts i believe it's on it's around like 16 17 gold at the moment of recording this video on the na and i think it's like 20 20 something gold over on the eu so the eu would even make a bit more from doing this farm uh, the prices of these have been going up and down but they're actually a lot higher than they were before patch 10.2 this is mainly because the price of rousing frost is really high and you can actually unravel frost bitten wilder cloth uh, to make um, rousing frost and so people are obviously doing that that is why the price of the frost bitten wilder cloth has went up so much also the wilder cloth itself the price on that has went up and if you have tailoring you also will get the wilder cloth bolts to drop from these mobs and i believe you also get the tainted wilder cloth from doing this farm also yeah you do um, so there's a bunch of different cloths that you get from doing this farm now if you're looking for a group for this i'll just put in under looking for group name it two by four cloth farm or wilder cloth cloth farm or frostbitten wilder cloth farm something along those lines and you should be able to find people that know exactly what this farm is and what you're talking about if you are on the na i have an in-game community where we um we do group farms with each other so if you'd like to join that i will put a link down below in the description box for that also if you're on the eu um, we have a looking for group inside of my discord the private discord now the discord is for anyone that has brought any one of my guides um, and this is another way to find people that want to do group farms with you but you should be able to fill this group just in custom under looking for group in custom um, just by calling it like the cloth 2x4 farm, something like that. A lot of people did this at the start of Dragonflight, but the prices went down on the Frostbitten Wilder Cloth. However, they have went up a lot recently. This is why it is a really good farm once again. From doing one hour testing on this farm, 
I managed to get 50k gold roughly per hour from doing this farm so it's definitely worth doing and I'd highly recommend giving this a go especially if you have a um, a tune that already has cloth collection um, like the knowledge points in cloth cl cloth collection for tailoring um, you can go straight into this farm and you'll be ready to go right away if you don't though like I mentioned before you will be able to get um, knowledge points extremely quickly just by leveling up tailoring all the way up to level 50 skill that will give you 50 knowledge points um, then you'll only need 10 more so um, there's many ways to get knowledge points you can go talk to the master tailoring profession and I believe that gives you another 5 or 10 knowledge points so it's very very easy to get the knowledge points to do this um, if you are interested in doing cloth farming now if you're going to start a new character that is just for this sort of farming I would recommend going either a hunter a druid or a monk um, that would be the best for these sorts of dragonflight farms however guys that was it for today's video I just wanted to let you all know that cloth farms are back in the game and are worth doing once again so if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button and if you'd like to learn more about making gold in retail world of warcraft you can check out my complete gold making guide which will be the first link down below in the description box this is a guide that I constantly update all the time and if you own a copy once um, you'll have a lifetime worth of free updates on the guide so whenever I update it you'll get emailed the updated version completely for free by getting the guide also you'll get access to a private discord where we help each other out with gold making and flipping and making gold in World of Warcraft on all the different expansions so like for Wrath we help each other out for that um, classic you name it um, all of them we will help you out with inside the discord however guys that was it for today's video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos till next one guys take care